The University of Florida is partnering with a biomanufacturing company beginning leading research on the manufacturing of tissues and living implants. WUFT's Evan Moon joins us live from campus with the story. Yes, right inside this building are soft cell labs where researchers are exploring the possibilities of printing live organs and tissues. I was able to speak with one of those lead researchers today. If you think of like holy grails of, of uh, engineering, the ability to 3D print uh, living functional implantable tissue or organs um, is one of those kind of holy grails that lots of people are going after right now. The innovation of 3D printers sparked the interest of biomedical engineers across the nation. The holy grail is, is the ability to print cells and design living biomanufactured uh, versions of parts of the body. In and the not so I distant future, a soldier's leg shattered on the battlefield might have that bone replaced with a version made by engineers. Army and Advanced Regenerative Manufacturing Institute will receive nearly $300 million to collaborate with universities, nonprofits, and the federal government to begin this process. The University of Florida will lead some of these efforts. The biggest biotech companies uh, in the country coming to um, contribute and um, and, and participate and support our work and, and benefit, from our, benefit from our work is pretty exciting. Dr. Angelini is working with many others, but he had a breakthrough that, according to one of his colleagues, unlocked a whole new field of engineering. He found that not only could they print these living cells, but if they formulated them with nutrients, it can become an actual growth environment for groups of cells as well. Oh, it's pretty exciting. I mean, when you, when you, hit, when you, hit, on a, when you hit on something that uh, you you know, an idea that you think uh, that turns out to actually work um, and you start to see all of its different uses and um, and you get to show it to people who then start to to get it and then they get really excited. So how long before we get from printed cells to engineered organs? thought of that as like getting to the moon, Getting, making an, a functional organ that actually is, is printed and created in the lab and put into somebody is like going to Jupiter. Um, you know, it was a long time ago that we went to the moon, and it'll be a long time till we get to Jupiter. It is that hard of a problem. The mission of this Army Institute is collaboration. The companies involved give their new technology to academic researchers like the ones here at UF so they can hopefully come up with new approaches. Reporting live from UF campus, Evan Moon, WUFT News.